Hey guys, it's Jessie from Jessie's Outdoor and Tech Reviews. Um, this is the Bellevue backpack that we're going to review today. So stick around and we'll take a look at it and see all of its features. <laughs> comfortable let's see what its features have to offer in addition to the comfort all right so let's start in the front here immediately the first thing I see are your bungee compression straps and the face of your pack you've got two compression straps customary to backpacks in the bottom here in addition to your compression straps you have two additional loops and you've got a rain cover pocket down here on the bottom that comes with your pack. I don't choose the color. I don't think you can choose the color, but this is what you get. Full size rain pack to cover your bag. There you go. Does fit a little big. You see some extra space here. I think the main thing, the main thing that's important is that it stays on. So let's give it a shake. Looks like it comes off a little bit, so that may be a little troublesome. So let's put it on and see if it stays on with movement. Are we on? We're still on. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's get back to our features. mentioned the rain cover pocket on the bottom. You have your hood pocket. Open this up. Now there's not an inside zipper but there is an inside sleeve so if you want to store some items up here. Um, nothing small that would fall out. You've got some storage space there, maybe a blanket. Store that in the hood. Now, another thing that you have, you've got an up top compression strap. A lot of these normally just come with a drawstring closure for your main compartment. Not only does this have a drawstring closure, but it also has a buckle closure as well. So a nice additional closing feature there. inside of your main compartment you have a secondary drawstring closure now this is really nice so you just finished seeing your main compartment closure like that but then inside you pull this out you've got a secondary protective closing mechanism that that would really help with keeping the water out should you be hiking or camping during the rain. So we close that one and then now we're going to close the external and we'll see how tight and closed and secure we get this pack. Alright, so there is your hole and then if we on top of both of those use our secured buckle, clip that tighten it down and you are not having anything come out of there. All right, let's take a look at the inside. All right, this is an internal frame pack that you have access to. It might be a little hard to show you. Let me fold all this back right here. with this velcro pocket that you have access to those bars. You've got one there and then one over here that you could take out if you wanted to remove the internal skeleton. All right, velcroed back. You've got an internal laptop pocket. 
right down in there, and then large space. Several of these backpacks have a separation mechanism that allows you to separate the main compartment into two. This one is no different, no exception. It does have one. It's going to be easier for me to show you from the bottom. So we'll come back to the front. And let's access our main compartment using our bottom pocket here. Here's access to your main compartment. All of it there from the bottom. And then here is where you would close it off should you want to have two separate areas. You have drawstring, pouch right there. Close that off nice and tight. And then you'd be able to have two individualized compartments there. Now on the sides you have mesh water bottle pockets and they're very very large so you can even fit a growler in these. Replicated on the side as well as good compression straps on both on both sides. In addition to compression straps on both sides you have these side pockets. For your trail snacks and those alike on both sides. Pretty deep pockets, good size. It goes about way up here and way down here. So they're pretty deep, pretty deep pockets that you've got there available to you. Now let's close it up and look at the back. Your back here, you've got a nice handle. Your shoulder pads are well padded and ventilated. Belvi actually has this unit with an adjustable back frame using this mechanism. So if you wanted to fit this to a taller person, you would unvelcro it like so. And back here you see some tracks. With this flap, you would slide it to the height you need to raise the shoulder straps. You slide it all the way through the tracks, pull it up, and then secure your Velcro. And now your shoulder straps sit higher and this will accommodate a taller individual. For a shorter person, you would do the same but in reverse and move it all the way down. So I think that's one of the better, fe the best features of this Belvy 70 liter because I'm short. My husband's tall, and so this allows us to use this backpack interchangeably. So now, your shoulder straps sit lower, more proportionate with the waist strap, um, in consideration of the user's height. All right, so some customary features, D-rings, your chest strap adjustable with your elastic band, whistle included on your buckle there. and your waist belt. Waist pockets on the side on both left and right. Just enough to put some snacks. Maybe a phone if you've got a smaller phone. I know, let's see. My phone won't fit in there, but definitely some trail snacks will. Um, very nicely padded as well. What Belvi indicates is that this is their air circulation drying system the way the back is padded. I'll give you a good look at this so you can see how nicely padded the back frame is. Ow, again, this is a 70 liter backpack, both camping, hiking, trekking. You can use it for traveling, sports, uh, climbing, mountaineering, pretty much just about anything that you would need a larger size backpack for. 70 liter Belvy, go ahead and check them out. It's Jesse from Jesse's Outdoor and Tech Reviews.